Greetings everyone. Welcome to ENE Learning Hub, where I'm going to go through and explain the solutions for questions related to electrical floor plan. So this is question 11 from the 2008 past paper. So let's begin. It says figure five shows the electrical floor plan of a building. So here is figure five, the electrical floor plan, part A. It says in your answer booklets, write the numbers one, two, three, four, and five. Beside each number, write the name of the electrical item shown in figure five. So number one, this is the wall lamp, two, socket outlet, three, fluorescent lamp, four, two-way switch, five, the electric meter. All right, so let's move on to part B. It says, explain the main function of each electrical item named in part A above. One, wall lamp is a filament lamp installed on a wall. Two, socket outlet is used to connect portable appliances to the electric supply. Three, fluorescent lamp is used to produce electric lighting. Four, two ways which is used to switch a lamp on and off from two positions. Five, electric meter is used to measure the amount of electrical energy used. All right, so that's it for part B. For part C, it says, why are fluorescent lamps preferred to filament lamps in lighting circuits? One, fluorescent lamps have a longer lifespan than filament lamp. Two, fluorescent lamps are more environmentally friendly than filament lamps. All right, so that's it for part C. For part D, it says which conductors connect exposed metal parts in an electrical installation to the general mass of earth or ground. All right, so I have here earth conductor and earth lead conductor. So the earth conductor is the conductor that is used to connect all exposed metal parts in an electrical installation and the earth lead conductor is the final conductor that is used to connect to the electrical rod that is connected to the general mass of the earth all right so that's it for this question all right so let's move on all right so let's move on to the next question so this is question 11 from the 2011 past paper. Part A, it says figure five shows the electrical floor plan of a studio apartment with components numbered one to five. In your answer booklet, write the numbers one, two, three, four, and five. Identify each of the corresponding components by writing the name of the part next to the number all right so this is one here so that's the electric meter two that's the distribution board three that's the fluorescent lamp four that's the socket outlet mm -hmm. and five that's the two-way switch all right so let's move on to part b It says, it says, briefly explain the main function of each electrical component identified in part A above. One, the electric meter is used to measure the amount of electrical energy used. Two, the main function of the electrical distribution board is to distribute electrical power from the main source to various circuits and electrical devices within a building or facility. Three, fluorescent lamp is used to produce electric lighting. Four, socket outlet is used to connect portable appliances to the electric supply. Five, two-way switch is used to switch a lamp on and off from two positions. All right, so that's it for part B. For part C, it says, for part C, it says, 
state two electrical safety tests that must be conducted on all new installations before the before the power supply is connected to the circuit. All right, so the two safety tests are verification of polarity and error continuity test. So that's it for part C. For part D, it says state one electrical safety test that must be conducted on all new installation with the power supply connected to the circuit. All right. So that test is so that is polarity test. So that's it for part D. Part E, it says identify two test instruments that are used to test an electrical installation. All right, so the two test instruments are megometer and continuity tester. So that's it for part E. For part F, it says outline the procedure for conducting insulation resistance tests between the conductors and between the conductors and earth in a completed electrical installation. All right, so between conductors for two, between conductors for two wire system, one, all lumps should be removed. Two, all current using apparatus should be disconnected and all switches controlling the lumps should be closed. Three, when the removal of lumps and apparatus is not practicable, all switches that is used to control the lumps and apparatus should be open. Four, one phase conductor is connected to one lead of the megometer while the other phase conductor is connected to the other lead of the megometer and the reading should not be less than one megohm. All right, so that's it for All right, so next up between conductors and earth for two wire system. One, all lumps should be removed. Two, all current using apparatus should be disconnected and all switches controlling lumps should be closed. Two, all current, all current using apparatus should be disconnected and all switches controlling so all current using apparatus should be disconnected and all switches controlling lamps should be closed. Three, when the removal of lamps and apparatus is not practicable, all switches that is used to control the lamps and apparatus should be open. Four, the wires of both the phase conductors should be twisted together and connect to one lead of the megometer. While the while the customer while the customer mean air conductor is connected to the other lead of the megometer, the measured resistance the measured resistance should not be less than two megohm. All right, so that's it for this question. All right, so let's move on to the next question. So this is question eleven from the two thousand eleven past paper. Part A, it says figure five shows the electrical floor plan of a studio apartment with components numbered one to five. In your answer booklet, write the numbers one, two, three, four, and five. Identify each of the corresponding components by writing the name of the part next to the number. All right, so this is one here. So that's the electric meter. Two. That's the distribution board. Three, that's the fluorescent lamp. Four, that's the socket outlet. And five, that's the two-way switch. All right, so let's move on to part B. It says, briefly explain the main function of each electrical component identified in part A above. One, the electric meter is used to measure the amount of electrical energy used. Two, the main function of the electrical distribution board is to distribute electrical power from the main source to various circuits 
and electrical devices within a building or facility. Three, fluorescent lamp is used to produce electric lighting. Four, socket outlet is used to connect portable appliances to the electric supply. Five, two-way switch is used to switch a lamp on and off from two positions. All right, so that's it for part B. For part C, it says, state two electrical safety tests that must be conducted on all new installations before the power supply is connected to the circuit. All right, so the two safety tests are verification of polarity and error continuity tests. So that's it for part C. For part D, it says, state one electrical safety test that must be conducted on all new installation with the power supply connected to the circuit. So that is polarity test. Part E, it says identify two test instruments that are used to test an electrical installation. All right, so the two test instruments are megometer and continuity tester. So that's it for part E. For part F, it says, outline the procedure for conducting insulation resistance tests between the conductors and between the conductors and earth in a completed electrical installation. Between conductors for a two-wire system, one, all lamps should be removed. Two, all current using apparatus should be disconnected and all switches controlling the lamps should be closed. Three, when the removal of lamps and apparatus is not practicable, all switches that is used to control the lamps and apparatus should be open. Four, one phase conductor is connected to one lead of the megometer while the other phase conductor is connected to the other lead of the megometer and the reading should not be less than one megohm. All right, so that's it. All right, so next up between conductors and earth for two wire system. One, all lamps should be removed. Two, all current using apparatus should be disconnected and all switches controlling lamps should be closed. Three, when the removal of lamps and apparatus is not practicable, all switches that is used to control the lamps and apparatus should be open. Four, the wires of both the phase conductors should be twisted together and connect to one lead of the megometer, while the customer, I mean, air conductor is connected to the other lead of the megometer. The measured resistance should not be less than two megohm. All right, so that's it for this question. Let's move on to the next question. So this is question 10 from the 2009 class paper. It says, figure six shows the layout of a computer laboratory. In your answer booklet, write the numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Identify each of the corresponding parts by writing the name of the part next to the number. All right, so number one, that's the electric meter. Number two, that's the fluorescent lamp. Number three, that's the wall lamp. Four, that's the distribution board. Five, that's the socket outlet. Six, that's the two-way switch. And seven, that's the main disconnect switch. And eight, that's the one-way switch. All right, so those are the components for each number. All right, so let's move on to part B now. It says, name any two of the conductors in the earthing system of an electrical installation. So the two conductors are air conductor and earth lead conductor. All right, so that's it for part B. For part C, it says, describe how earthing of exposed metal in an electrical installation provides protection from electric shock. All right, so earthing of exposed metal in an electrical installation provides protection from electric shock by creating a low impedance path for fall currents to flow 
in the event of an electrical fault. All right, so that's it for part C. For part D, it says, uh, briefly explain the purpose of the switch feed, the travelers, and the switch wire in a two-way switch control of a filament lamp. All right, so the switch feed, which is also called the life conductor, so this is the wire that brings power from the main electrical supply to the two-way switch. Next up, we have the travelers. So the travelers are the two wires that connect the two-way switch to another two-way switch in a circuit. The switch wire, or what we call the return conductor, is the wire that carries the power from the two-way switch to the filament lamp. All right, so that's it for part D. For part E now, it says, describe two advantages of using circuit breakers instead of fuses. All right, so one, reusability. Two, the circuit breaker have a faster response time where the fuse may take some amount of time for it to burn out. All right, so that's it for this question.